I'm happy SB64 passed because one of the things, that the components that I'm happy about is the evaluation tool. Well, there's going to be using a reliable uh, evaluation tool for all educators. That's administrators, teachers, and I think that is going to be wonderful to show the accountability on all levels in our public schools for the children of Utah. Also, it provides uh, two evaluations for our provisional teachers and our probationary teachers. I'm grateful for this and I'm grateful for the hard work that as a collective unit of people work together with Senator Osmond to get this passed. Senate Bill 64 creates a definition for unsatisfactory performance and it's about time because for many years no news has been good news and so finally we actually know what it is as teachers that we will be evaluated on. I greatly approve of Senate Bill 64. It clearly states what will happen to a teacher who is not working up to par and it is going to be a part of a law and it gives a remediation processes for them to go through. And I'm in support of Senate Bill 64 and the reason is that uh, on an employee's evaluation if they were um, deemed unsatisfactory then they would have a streamlined process of remediation up to 120 days and there are a few exceptions to that but that just tells the public that we in public education are concerned about teachers that are, might be unsatisfactory and we don't have the excuse that we're protecting bad teachers anymore. We want good teachers in our classroom and that 120 day remediation time frame is a good time frame to help teachers improve. Senator Osmond recognized and listened to us and knows that steps and lanes are important to teachers and that is now in the bill. One of the things that I like about Senate Bill 64 is the fact that it keeps the privacy of the teacher intact. Um, we will be evaluated and those evaluations will be shared but names will not be attached to it so we still have the privacy that that affords us. This bill protects teachers career status um, and lets teachers be career professionals and stay in it until retirement. It protects teachers against unfair termination and allows young teachers, new teachers, to see it as a profession that they can stay in for the duration. Um, and it allows our career teachers to maintain the status that they already have. Well, first of all, it's an honor for me to take a few minutes and to thank all of our educators across the state. Let them know how much that I appreciate their involvement and the support in Senate Bill 64. You all need to understand that this bill was more than just effort from Senator Osmond. It was a bill that reflected collaborative effort from all parties involved in public education. That includes the State Board of Education, the UEA, the Utah School Boards Association, and several other education stakeholders that worked collaboratively together to build a bill that really reflected the quality of the profession that is education in the state of Utah and to ensure that we're taking that profession seriously and evaluating not only our teachers, but our administrators as well.